Welcome to this feature focus on screen recording. Let's dive right in. Navigate to the class in question. Select either the student name or the shared items folder. Click the plus icon. Tap record screen at the bottom and then get recording. Hi, this is Chris from Shobi. I'm delighted to be able to show you today the screen recording feature that's available on iOS in Shobi. This feature is available for teachers and students alike. This video has been produced using the screen recording feature. So, if we look in the top left, we can see the in-picture video with three options underneath. The first icon is the plus icon. Tapping on this will increase the size of the video slightly. You can minimize this at any point by tapping the minimize icon. The second option is to increase it to a full screen to create an image that looks like this. You can reduce this by tapping in the bottom left hand corner to minimize it back to its original state. The third option is the option to flip the screen from the front facing camera to the rear facing camera. You also have the option to move the image around the screen and pin it in one of the four corners as you see fit. At the bottom we have a second menu that will only be visible when recording. This gives you the option to cancel or save your recording. It also gives you the option to turn off the video whilst maintaining the opportunity to record audio or to do the same with the audio. The last aspect is the pause and record button. You can use this during a recording to queue up new content like this. Pressing pause and then record when ready will then mean that you can have queued up content for the viewer so they don't have to wait. Then within this view, you can still use the pen tools, pin notes, and even voice notes at the same time. Wow, this is pretty impressive. You also have the opportunity to still continue to move and navigate around Shobi at the same time. This means you can give instructions on where to find particular content or go through a particular file or piece of content. In this case, the teacher may want to go through this worksheet that the children may have been finding tricky and difficult. When you tap save, you'll be given these following options. You can still crop the video if you wish selecting a particular part. You can also change the video quality depending on your needs. Don't forget when you finish though to tap done. When it's finished uploading you then have all the options that you normally have within Shobi to distribute this content. You can leave it in the shared items folder where you've created it and select particular children if you so wish. Or you have all the share options still available to you to make a copy and move to a different part of Shobi. or even to save to camera roll by long pressing and tapping on the share icon and saving the video to the camera roll. If you require any further help, you're always welcome to reach out to support at or find us on our social media channels.